you guys been wondering how to get rid of this white box around JPEGs when using Flexi Designer versus Studio Edition? If you have, then I've got just a video for you guys. Hello everyone, my name is Jay Rabbit. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys find this video useful. So I know that there are a lot of websites, programs, and apps that will remove backgrounds for you. Some of them require a paid subscription and some of them are free. So this video here will be helpful to you guys that don't want to spend extra money or maybe you want to save time by just doing it straight in Flexi Designer. So as you guys know, if we try to apply a contour cut around a JPEG, it's going to make contour cut around the white box, which is not what we want when we want to make stickers or if you want to print a design out on some heat transfer vinyl to apply to a garment or maybe a tote bag. So let me show you guys how we're going to get rid of this white box. First thing is to click on your JPEG and then come up here on the left side uh, on top click bitmap and then go down to make transparent. Your cursor is going to turn into a little wand. And so now you want to click on the white part. Now, as you see, we got a bunch of little dancing ants around the design. Over here on the right, under tolerance, I believe the default was maybe 50 or 60. For this design here, I just lowered it all the way down to zero and it did a really good job of going around the design. This here will work good if you're just going to make stickers because you see that the inside white part is left in and I can just hit click or I could click on the green arrow and it would work good for a sticker. But if you're wanting to turn this into a a design to, to print out on heat transfer vinyl. You might want to get rid of this white part here. And so to do that, all you have to do is click on select similar. And then as you see it, now it's got the dancing ants on the inside parts of the rabbit down here in between his legs. So if we click on the check mark, you'll see that all the white is gone now. And then if we go up here to effects and now we'll try to put the contour cut. It is around the rabbit. If you want to put this on a shirt, I would go all the way down. I would just go down to zero. Uh, and then you'll see that it follows the inside pretty good. If you put this on a white shirt, it won't even be noticeable. Even if you were to go, if you were to increase the contour cut outline to maybe zero, 0 0.02 inches. The white won't be very noticeable. This rabbit over here is for a sticker. So it's got the white outline coming out pretty far. And so that's it, folks. Hopefully that helps you guys out, saves you money, saves you time. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any other questions or maybe video ideas, uh, leave them down in the comments. And I will try to make a video. 
to help you guys out. All right. Thank you and have a good day.